Hello again and welcome back to my playthrough of The Last of Us Part 2. Thank you so much for joining me again. In this episode, we are starting off in a flashback. Three years ago, this is. Ellie looks a lot younger than three years younger than the age she's in now in Seattle. But uh, they say this is three years ago. And I'm hoping that uh, nothing too terrible is going to happen in this episode because it takes place in the past and um we know that both ellie and joel survive whatever happens in this memory so um you know the, the feeling of dread that i usually have while playing this game is a little bit lessened uh due to the fact that we are now here in the past so we're gonna start walking here uh, at the end of the last episode ellie and joel uh, had a bit of a conversation that they probably would have normally been having while walking, but uh, I just stood over there and let them talk. So now we walk in silence, except for me blabbering on. But that's okay. It's very pretty here. Uh, Joel is taking Ellie to see some kind of surprise. We don't know what it is. Um, I think Ellie guessed hot air balloon and a couple of other things too. I don't remember uh, what the surprise is for, or if we even know what it's for. Oh, thanks. Mind your step. I got it. Oops. Ah! <gasps> I can't believe he did that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what is wrong with you? You should see your face right now. What am I drown? No, you're not gonna drown. You gotta work on that confidence, kiddo. <laughs> yeah, keep laughing, old man. See what happens. <laughs> it's this way. The worst. Hmm. Okay, the game is teaching us how to swim, which makes me a little nervous. Okay, we can swim fast. Uh, why swim are we? Is getting better. Remember now, don't just flail about. You got to. the water with your whole arm. Blah blah blah. Glad to know I'm getting through. Hey, Ellie, come here. Take a look at this. See that deer over there? Where? See it? Just through there, look. Oh, yeah. I see it. Yeah. Let's talk to Joel about it. Looks like... <laughs> nice. How's that feel? Uh, refreshing. Yeah, it's not nice getting pushed in, is it? Well, actually, we need to swim through this part anyway. I got you back. You're angry and upset. I am very angry and upset. Now, come on. <laughs> well, we have to swim through that part anyway, just like he said. Look, she's got a little smile on her face. She's just having so much fun here. All right, let's jump in. Whee! <laughs> Cannonball. You're gonna need to dive under here. Let's take a deep breath. All right, hold on. Yeah, I got this. Are right, you ready? All right, we we went really deep. Yeah. Pretty cool effects. Sixth grade history teacher wanting to apologize for being a massive dick. I beg your pardon? <laughs> My friend and I would argue whenever he called the fireflies terrorists. We got a lot of detention. You know, you really need to stop letting people rile you up. It's hard when they're dicks. <laughs> Point still stands. <laughs> it's hard when they're dicks. Dive over here. Where are you taking me? <gasps> <laughs> Is it a new pair of sneakers? How many of those do you have? Not enough. <laughs> Looks like it's going to be hard to climb out of here. Give me a hand, Joel. Thanks. There. Mm. 
Okay. Fuck it. I'm done guessing. Well, good. But, like, is it a massive comic book collection? No, wait. A new DVD collection? <sighs> yes. That's a, which one? <laughs> Just. Yes. How about laser discs? I heard that's a thing. Hmm. Some stairs over here. Can I go to? Can I go to this? Holy shit, Joel! Oh, we're here. Oh my god! It is a dinosaur. Oh, neat. And it is. Joel. Surprise! Holy shit! Oh, it's a motherfucking dinosaur. It's a dinosaur. Let's read about it. Tyrannosaurus Rex. King of the tyrant lizards. That's a big boy. <laughs> uh, okay, so we've got some uh, pages here that we could look at and uh, learn a little bit about what's going on here. Started this book off. Uh, with some uh, sketches of some deer and uh, here uh, there is uh, Tommy and Joel on horseback not bad not bad farming rotation blows I don't get why people ask for this assignment note to self talk to Maria about how early I can sign up for patrol training Dina and I found this cool old campground today she said kids used to go there in the summers for fun we found all these art supplies. She cut colored paper and made some crowns for us while it rained outside. It was a good day. That's a picture of Dina there. Got like a ram drawing there. Joel said he's taking me on a camping trip next week. The camping trip next week for my birthday. He found something he says I'll love. He's acting very proud of himself, smug old fogey. Cat sat next to me at movie night. Our elbows kept touching. I think she was doing it on purpose? Maybe not. Probably not. Dina made me a crown for my birthday. She went back to that camp and got all this paper. It's pretty great. And then now we've drawn a sketch of the Tyrannosaurus Rex. King of the Tyrant Lizards. There he is. Pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. Yeah, let's look around a little bit. That's what we do, don't you know? We look around. So we look. Can we walk up on the dinosaur? <laughs> oh, <laughs> she's climbing it. <laughs> she's climbing the dinosaur. Sure, how safe I'd feel up there. Look at me! I'm on a motherfucking dinosaur. That's pretty cool. Where'd Joel go? Well, she just does whatever she wants, doesn't she? The water's deep enough to jump in. Am I, am I supposed to jump from here? Because I don't think that water's deep enough. Well, I can't go backwards, so I think I'm supposed to jump. <laughs> Ready? Here we go. Ah! <laughs> That's gotta be fun, right? I always think that we're gonna find something down here under this water. Oh, oopsies. I climbed the dinosaur. That was fun. See if anybody left anything on this bench over here. Not really sure what I'm looking for. I mean, it's not like I have an inventory. Uh, oh crap, I do have an... Okay, I don't like this. I don't like that I can craft health health kits and Molotovs. That tells me that uh, there is going to be combat in this flashback. And then we've got our journal here. Eh, it's making me a little nervous. I was kind of hoping we could just maybe enjoy ourselves for a change and just explore without having to worry about baddies. But, looks like that's not going to happen. Well, Joel just waiting there patiently for us. Keep, you're just going to wait a little bit longer then, Joel. 
I want to look at the sign. Wyoming Museum. Wyoming Museum of Science and History. How did you find this place? <laughs> Maria. She, uh, she told me about it. Figured it'd be right up your alley. Figured right. So I wonder if this is a real place. And if so, is it in Jackson? That's, uh, I don't think they rode all the way to like Cheyenne or Casper or something like that. One of the bigger cities. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. Don't know if it's a real place or not. All right, let's go in. Jill's being so very patient over there. What's this? Uh, it's a book. <sighs> it's a dinosaur book. Mm, okay. All right. <laughs> Going to the museum. This is adorable. And I can't help but look around for items. It's a sickness, don't you know? But it does look like we're going to need to craft Molotovs and health kits. Unfortunately, we can't get in there. Oh, here's a chair. Well, let's have a seat, I guess. Sorry, the dinosaurs are busy right now. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, wait. One of the dinosaurs is here. <laughs> Joel, that's for you. Very funny. <laughs> well, that was pretty that good. That's pretty funny. That's pretty funny, yeah. Did you get it? It's because you're old. Oh, I get it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that was a good one. Did I see something to interact with? It's not. Dino Hall, August 24th and 25th, two days only. Boy, that seems like um, a lot of trouble to go through, putting all these dinosaurs in here for just two days, but maybe it's one of those touring exhibits. An exhibit of Jurassic proportions. Um, Jurassic was a time period. It wasn't a size, was it? I don't know. What do I know? Here's one of the things where you put money in you, the damage government property and you get to take it home and throw it in a jar and never look at it again Ooh. um uh, donors the donor honor wall boy english is a strange language isn't it <laughs> you would think that those two words would rhyme <laughs> and they do not not even close okay comp comp so comp so Nathus? okay that's a new one before we go into the exhibit, let's walk around in the lobby area out here and check it out. Let's check this out. Oh, look at those talons. Yeah, look at them. That is a velociraptor. Actually, it's a D... Dionanicus. Mm, pretty sure these are velociraptors. Yeah. I mean, at least that's what they called him in this movie I saw. Hmm. Hmm. Man, I tell you, when I was a kid, I don't think there was such a thing as a velociraptor. I mean, it was probably called that other thing she tried to say. Or maybe they just never arranged the bones in that position to make that dinosaur. But uh, I never heard of a velociraptor until Jurassic Park. Now you can have your very own Anna Anacast automated miniature wax factory. Your own unique figure in moments. It's like a 3D printer kind of thing, but not really. It's not really a 3D printer. It just injects some kind of wax inside of a mold. So not really a 3D printer. Oh, here's a hat. Oh, man. You want to try it on? I do not. Your loss. I do not. <laughs> not sure about that look there, Ellie, but you know, you, you do you. 
on the ground here. What is this stuff? Oh, it's like little uh, dinosaur grabby things. Those things you reach with. You got dinosaur eggs here. I know. I spend a lot of time looking at all this crap. I like this kind of thing. I just do. I like that they take the time to do this kind of thing and make the world more real. Enrich the world. I like it. Look at these little guys. Compsognathus. Whew. That's a big name for little guys. <laughs> yeah, they'd swarm you. Did you see that in a movie too? Actually, yeah. But a different one. <laughs> There's a sequel. It wasn't as good. I don't think I ever saw the second Jurassic Park movie. And I certainly never saw the third one. What do we got here? Some kind of stamp thing. Insert adventure stamp card. Oh, okay. You get your little card stamped. Giants of the past. Step back through time to over 65 million years ago when dinosaurs and other prehistoric giants roamed the earth. In our giant's pavilion, you'll find full skeletons on display. See how you'd measure up next to our own Triceratops, Winnie. And don't forget to look up. There are pterodactyls circling. Afterward, head into our annexes to get hands-on with fossils of footprints, feathers, and more. Well, this is a pretty nice exhibit, I must say. Oh, Triceratops, one of my favorites. That is a hat on a dinosaur. <laughs> it's called a hatosaur. <laughs> oh, okay. I like it. Oh, Stegosaurus, another one of my favorites. Oh, man. I'm reliving my childhood. Whoa, this one's brain was the size of a walnut. <laughs> no, no way. Looks like you two have something in common. Oh, <laughs> good one. <laughs> <laughs> oh man don't forget to look up pterodactyls are circling triceratops this is one I recognize <laughs> look at stegosaurus man you remember that one too you remember tyrannosaurus rex come on man you remember more than you think fossils Bra brachiosaurus Brachiosaurus ate 600 pounds of plants each day. Whew. Imagine the poops. Yeah, there's one scene where uh, actually one of the guys said, that's a big mound of shit. <laughs> <laughs> what is this movie and when can we see it? Tell you what, when we get back to Jackson, movie night. It's surprising he's never shown it to her, her being such a dinosaur fan. Fan. Uh... What is this? Salam... Salamimus? I've heard of this one. It's kind of cute. Gallimimus' oh, name means chicken mimic. I, who names these? <laughs> Scientists. Well, they're dumb. Gallimimus. I don't know that one. I'll check this guy out. Dimetrodon. Ooh. Neat. Look at that guy up there. Dimetrodon? Never heard of this one either. The Dimetrodon was an apex predator. What's an apex predator? The most badass predator. Huh. Pretty short for that. Wait, were you talking about me? She called it Dimetrodon. Mm. Restrooms, water. Oh, a card. Let's get it. Check this one out. The Nighthawk. Oh, oh cool. <laughs> what you got there? These uh, superhero cards. 
Seems like they were popular. I think Sarah was into those for a while. What was it, those little creature thing? I forget. The Nighthawk. No surprise he's a hero. Real name Jerry Lavelle, Brains 80 Brawn 80, Affiliation Society of Champions. When a freshly minted Air Force recruit found himself caught in a skirmish between Spark... Sounds like a pill. <laughs> when a freshly minted Air Force recruit found himself caught in a skirmish between Spark Aerobots and the Society of Champions, his quick thinking ended up saving the day. With his arms and legs wounded in the battle, Dr. Stem created a set of energy wings for his arms and energy blades for his shoes, allowing him to cover both land and sky at absurd speeds. Together with his loyal greyhound Ezio, the small town kid known as the Nighthawk scours the world for evildoers, always ready to dive back into action. Uh, you go get him, Nighthawk. And Ezio. Oh man, can't go into that restroom. Sorry, Joel, you're gonna have to wait out here. I don't know what I expect to find in here. <laughs> oh, a mirror. Oh, a nice clean mirror. Head or face? Head. Face. <laughs> okay. Wow, this is actually a lot you could do. You could you could go all the way around. Look at this. Well, that's pretty crazy, right? <laughs> My gosh. <sighs> it's fun stuff, man. That's fun. Come on. All right, let's keep looking around here. Ooh, here's a map of the place. All right, let's keep looking around. Some stairs over there. Oh, we could talk about this guy again? Triceratops means three-horned face. You would not want to be on the business end of that horn. Hmm. Are these supposed to be eggs? Not sure what's going on there. fossils here. Some big footprints. Ah, oh, Velociraptor. Velociraptor. Joel, this is uh, the one you were talking about. The Velociraptor? So small. Well, don't trust the movies, I guess. Iguanodon. Allosaurus, that's a big head. There's T-Rex, my goodness. How about that? Huh. <laughs> uh, Pachycephalosaurus. Look how thick this one's skull is. Kinda looks like Tommy. <laughs> I'm telling him you said that. Please don't. <laughs> Catch it in the right light. Boom, Tommy. Parasaurolophus. Paras. Parasaurolophus. Those are new to me. Huh. Uh, Overraptor? Whoa, this one looks like a bird. Well, actually, paleontologists believe the birds were descended from dinosaurs. Well. Excuse me, Mr. Professor. 
I happen to know a thing or two. From a movie. Oh, keep going. Keep going, he says. Okay. What the? I guess it's just the way the lighting, because just for a split second I thought I saw another thing I could focus on. But I guess not. All the work they put into this, man. Look at this. They drew these pictures. I mean, somebody had to go through the trouble of drawing all this stuff. Hmm. <laughs> Joel's enjoying himself. Hmm. How about that? How about that? <laughs> Another hat. Okay. Just uh hats all over the place in here. Let's go upstairs, Joel. Come on, man, let's go. There's more up here. Did you go to museums a lot? Yeah. Yeah, Sarah loved them. I swear that girl dragged me to every damn museum in Texas. <laughs> it's kind of cool how they did this. Looks like a giraffe. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Hey! Oh, nice shot. <laughs> I see the appeal. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> Still not fully understood what caused the Mass extinction of the dinosaurs. Don't know for sure, man. Now where are we going? Come on, Joel. I'm sure it's perfectly safe back through here. Nothing bad's gonna happen here. A walk through the stars. Did you know this was here? Oh, you don't like it. Um... <laughs> We can head back. Yeah. Oh, shut up. <laughs> this is like the perfect thing for her. Dinosaurs in space. <laughs> That's pretty cool, right? I wonder if any of this stuff still works. Yeah, let's turn the crank, man. Let's turn the crank. Oh, Hey, Joel, can you name all the planets? <clears throat> My very educated mother just served us nice pizzas. Uh, did you just have a stroke? My Mercury, very Venus, mother Mars. Oh, okay. I get it. That's pretty cool. <laughs> the controller's vibrating as I do this. <laughs> All right, I'm having a little too much fun with that. <laughs> Different rockets over here. The Vostok K Chinese rocket. Oh no, no, Chinese, uh, Russian. My bad. Hey, Joel, guess what the first animal to go to space was? I don't have to guess. That was a monkey. No, it was fruit flies. Yeah, in 1947, it was to see radiation exposure at high altitudes. And they lived through it. That gum girl, you are smart. Thanks. Did they become super flies? What? No. Voskod. Whoa. Tell me another fun fact. Hmm. Astronauts say the moon smells like gunpowder. That is a fun fact. <laughs> well, wait. How would... Oh, well, they would take the moon samples back inside and smell them later, I guess. Smell you later. Look at the size of this rocket. I mean, I always knew the Saturn V was big, but my 
goodness, look at the size of it compared to the other ones. I mean, look, there it is next to the shuttle. Jeez. Okay, what's next? You tell me. Uh, quiz me. <laughs> I don't know. Who was the first person in space? Oh, it's easy. Yuri Gagarin. Gagarin? Is that... Gagarin? Or... I don't know how you say it. I've only read it, so... Anyway, he flew to space on April 12th, 1961. Color me impressed. How many books have you read about this? Come on, Joel. Isn't that incredible? <laughs> Why don't you tell me what you like about it? Hmm. I don't know. People in your time, they had it easy. Hmm. <laughs> I guess relatively speaking, sure. I mean, they didn't need to go to space, but they did it anyway. It's ballsy. <laughs> ballsy. All right, kiddo. Now I get it. <laughs> it's coming over here. Oh, okay, we could sit there and maybe uh, write in our journal a little bit. Or stand here and write in our journal. What do we write? Get your book back out. I want to see it. One day. Hmm. Not going. Oh, we can go through there. Okay, hold on. Probably just locked, but I don't want to press on it and then find out that we're exiting this room. Space shuttle tiles. Skylab. International Space Station is quite large compared to the other ones, huh? Check this thing out. Moon buggy. Lunar roving vehicle. <laughs> Nothing stopping her from getting on it, right? Oh, fuck yeah. Where's the steering wheel? Rovers don't use steering wheels. They use joysticks. Huh. Hang on. Is this the real one? <laughs> well, considering they left the real ones on the moon, <laughs> I would say no. <laughs> <laughs> Is this the real one? the moon over here. I guess those, those are all the different places we've landed on the moon. You know how many times we've been to the moon? Uh, twice. Six times. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I'm gonna make it seven. Hmm. Six times. I don't think I realized that. I had long forgotten it. Mercury space suit. <laughs> so cool. How's it smell in there? Like space. <laughs> and dust. <laughs> That's hilarious. Look at the size of that thing. Space suit. Oh, another one here. Can't make her face the camera. Have to go around this way. That the helmet's considerably smaller. At least it seems like it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Man, she looks more ridiculous in this one. We'll leave this one on. Launch entry suit. 
It's just a hat trying on simulator. Let's see how we look in this one. Get out here in the light so we can see. Oh, okay. Here we go. <laughs> that does not look comfortable. <laughs> The Z2 spacesuit. Flight suit. A pretty cool exhibit. Well, still nice and quiet in here. Can we get in? Whoa. Wow, that's pretty cool. After you. Watch your hand. Just <laughs> Happy birthday, kiddo. What is this? This is a thing that took a mighty effort to find. Take it. <laughs> You're welcome, kiddo. <laughs> well, what do you say we uh, keep looking around, huh? Yeah, I guess.
This game is going to break my heart. Uh, just, I mean, we—I don't know what happens. I, I, it still hasn't been spoiled for me. I, I don't know. I mean, we already saw what happened to Joel. But I mean, just thinking about uh, the dreams, you know, that she had. I mean, let's face it; she's not going to go to the moon, right? But she could still dream, you know, dream of a better future. But. I don't know. I, I worry about what's to come in this game. <laughs> I, uh, I'm scared about what's going to happen. You know it's not going to be good. Yep, let's see what's through these doors. Here. Thank you, kind sir. There's more museum stuff over there. Yeah, I never checked out that building. Well, let's go. And just how do you plan on getting yourself over there? Hmm. Well, it looks deep. It's hard to say how deep it is, though. Jump off and swim over. And I think that's what we are supposed to do. Oh, look at this. Door shut behind us. It, it was a one-way door. Man, can you imagine if I had gone through this door before? I wonder if the game would have stopped me. Because I feel like that was a pretty important part of Ellie's journey here, sitting in that capsule. Man. You ready? Here we go. <laughs> Never give anyone else this much grief. <laughs> Get down here! No! Hey, whose birthday is it? You're pretty you can't keep doing that. I want a good splash. We've got more exploring to do. Come on, Joel. You can do it. Geronimo! <laughs> nice. <laughs> Apparently there's a current in this water pushing me in this direction. So, oh, he's already over there. He's like, I'm getting out of that water. But Joel, we haven't swam over here yet. Come on, man. There could be something over here. Joel's, Joel's not much of an explorer. Joel, look. Want to give me a ride? <laughs> Those days are long gone, kiddo. Oh, party pooper. I'm going to take a little swim around here. See if there's anything cool for us. Looks like the game's not going to let me climb up on that rock. Let's go see if there's anything over Oh, okay, climb up that way. looking makes me want to go swimming This is probably where we're going to get attacked. We've had too much fun. You can't have fun for long in the zombie infested world these people live in now. So we could go through there, but we're probably not going to be able to. I bet you we're going to have to go through that window up there. But we'll do that in the next episode. This is time for me to end this one here. So. A lot, of, a lot of story in this episode, I feel like. Um, just some exploring. 
I really enjoyed it. But like I said, man, this game is just going to freaking break my heart. This scares me to think of what's ahead. Now, obviously, I ask that you do not post any spoilers in the comments if you do know what happens ahead. I mean, no spoilers at all. Don't even say, yep, you should be scared or anything. <laughs> Please don't, don't spoil it for me. But I do thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed our trip through half of the Wyoming Museum of Science and History. And I do hope that you join me again in the next episode.